Americans who drink coffee usually have about three cups a day. Now, a new study finds drinking an average of four cups a day may increase the risk of death. Dr. Carl LeVay is one of its authors. He's the medical director of preventive cardiology at the Ochsner Institute in New Orleans. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. Uh, this may be alarming for a lot of people who drink at least four cups or more. What were the findings? Well, the major finding of our study was that those who reported drinking four or more cups per day on average had a 21% increased risk of death. And this was particularly applicable for those under age 55, where the men had a 56% increased death rate and the women had a double death rate. Now, on the other hand, we found complete safety, no increased death rate or death from heart disease with less than four cups per day. So the bottom line of the take home message is for particularly the young people drinking four or more cups per day should think about cutting back a bit, maybe to just two or three cups. I have to kind of express some skepticism about this. How could there be no risk at all for three right. or less cups of coffee? And then all of a sudden when you hit four, for a man who's under 55, it jumped to a 56% increase in likelihood of death. Well, th there's some trend at lower, at lower doses, but you really, it, it's important to have statistical significance. And without having statistical significance, you can't be confident in the, in the findings. Is it the coffee? Is it the caffeine? What, what do you think it is? Well, it's unlikely to be just the caffeine. If it was the caffeine, we would expect that we'd see an increased heart related mortality and we didn't see any increased heart mortality in fact at any dose in men or women younger or older and in a major review that I published earlier this month in Jack our leading uh, heart journal we found that that coffee didn't have any increase in high blood pressure coronary disease heart failure or arrhythmias all right so is this an issue of causation or correlation that you found that people who drink four or more cups of coffee are likely to have these issues? That's, that's a very important point because we show that there was a strong association mm -hmm. between coffee and increased death rate at the, high, at the high doses. So couldn't that be explained by someone, look, I work a night job, it's very stressful, I drink a lot of coffee throughout the job, I don't get much sleep, I probably am eating a lot of snacks if I'm working a night job. Absolutely, but the one most obvious thing is is that smokers drink a lot of coffee and coffee drinkers more likely smoke, but we corrected totally for smoking and, and so the, the results are totally independent of smoking. But we were not able to correct for things like sleep, lack of sleep, mm -hmm. uh, being stressed out in your life. And it's quite possible that the coffee didn't cause the deaths, but was it associated with other lifestyle characteristics that were uh, associated with a higher death rate. All right. Dr. Carl Levy, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much for having me.